So, this is a this is a sad one. Um, I'm sad. EA is sh- uh, EA shut down Visceral Games. Um, I think probably uh, last week. Um, we didn't quite get it. To, we didn't get to it. We were prepping for Portland Retro Gaming Expo, but it's still worth touching on. Um, Visceral was actually before we get into the larger problem with EA. Um, Visceral was actually. Uh, was born from EA within. Uh, the studio w- used to be EA uh, Redwood, I believe. And after the success of Dead Space, it became Visceral Studios. Um, it put out the three uh, Dead Space games, which were, um, for the most part, quite critically acclaimed and very unique. Uh, it also put out some games like Battlefield Hardline, among other things. It was also working on a... Um, a Star Wars game that was being developed by, uh, directed by Amy Hennig, who was uh, responsible for Uncharted 1, 2, and 3. Uh, she had left Naughty Dog and had gone to Visceral to work on this Star Wars game, and it was going to be a single-player Star Wars game, or at least it seemed like that was going to be the main focus, Was it was going to be single-player. Um, <clears throat> they shut it down. Uh, they shut down Visceral, Um, and the game is, uh, going to be reworked. The single player Star Wars game is going to be reworked from its current form. In its current form, it was, as, as it says here by, uh, EA's Patrick Soderlund, in its current form, it was shaping up to be a story-based linear adventure game. Throughout the development process, we have been testing the game concept with players, listening to the feedback about what and how they want to play closely tracking fundamental shifts in the marketplace. Mm. It has become clear that to deliver an experience that players will want to come back to and enjoy for a long time to come, we need to pivot the design. Okay. Which means they're going to turn this into Destiny or The Division. Multiplayer for sure. Games as a service, which is basically what everything has to be. We spoke at, about that in the podcast like a year ago. Yeah. That's the shift. And, that, and, and at EA especially, this is basically what everything has to become. It, that's a it's a crying shame because there is still room in the market for a story based like I said linear adventure game. There is. I I, I mean it may not be as big. You may not make as much money, but there is a market for that. It's just is this telling that that market's now shrunk to the point that you won't have a AAA publisher doing it anymore? That's going to be the big question, or, or or to to the same extent. Well, I mean, I saw a really. Good, I mean, I. I... I'm so out of it, but I saw a really good graphic that showed pictures of games. Um, that was like, thank you for still making single player games. Uh-huh. And it said, not you with an EA like logo. In the uh-huh. center. But, you know, it showed like Atlas and Persona 5. It showed Mario or it showed Nintendo and Mario Odyssey. You know, it was showing all of these, you know, good single player games that had come out in the past, you know, year or so, year and a half or so. But um, really what this comes down to is is greed. There's no, there's so much more money to be made in a um, evolving online game that you can keep dragging people back into then there is a tight wrapped up story driven single player game yeah so but not so, everyone wants to play online sure you and know it's a different experience you can't tell the same story uh, a neat package story with multiplayer like you can do with single player and they try and in in some games succeed better than others but like the first destiny was miserable at doing that um the division was pretty bad at it destiny 2 is actually a a step uh, a step in the right direction but it's still not an ideal storytelling um medium when when you're doing trying to do it as a games uh games as service so you know it sucks because now you know we're not going to get to see people see other people's take um on the star wars universe in game form with the story because now what we're going to have is a you know, just a bunch of people running around, you know, probably grinding the same quests over and over again. And the story is going to be very loose. Not to mention that we've now, you know, a bunch of people have lost their jobs. And sure. the larger point here is that if you like a studio, you better hope to God or whatever that EA does not get their hands on it. Uh, I mean, they ruined Westwood. They ruined uh, Origin. They ruined... Um, uh, I mean, they absorbed Bioware, and while Bioware has not been shut down yet, I mean, it's, it's you know, they've basically ruined them. Um, EA has a 
very long and bad history of acquiring and then shutting down and ruining studios. Well, well, that's 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 depressing. But I mean, that's what happens when you swap smaller companies. You you never you never ends up with more jobs created yeah. as with less. So, I mean, EA at this point is it it's it's really kind of gross and um yeah. I mean, I I don't have a whole lot more to say on it that hasn't well, already been said other than um it, it's it's clearly a money move and I mean, it's a shame. They've been working on this game for what, a couple years at least now? Yeah, I believe so. I mean, this isn't like they just started like a month ago and made the shift. So people were working on this game and want to see this come out. I'm trying to pull up the list of uh, companies they've 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 shuttered. They've swallowed. They've yeah. swallowed. Oh. I, I I had it and now I've I've lost it. But anyways, yeah, it was it, it it's a long list. So so you hope that the future won't be like you know the next Uncharted game, no single player anymore. We'll just have an Uncharted. Uh, yeah. Wide open world where you come in and play with everyone else and just have it be an unfocused mess I'm, of a game. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay. I'm interested in the idea of some games taking an MMO-style approach with, with different mechanics. But not every game can but do that. But not every game. I don't need that for every game because then every game feels the same. And, and plus, it's, it's a time waster. It it's is. like, maybe I want to only spend 20 hours on a game and not 1,000. Right. Sorry. Exactly. I got a, I got a mortgage now. I I've always I've always said that I will take a short um a short quality experience over something that's artificially padded and longer. I I honestly have no problem with a game being 7 hours long if it's really really good. That's fine. I'm good with that. that. That's worth 40, 50, 60 bucks, right? Yeah. I mean, we, we spend fifteen bucks on a yeah. fucking movie. I was say, a movie used to be twelve. Now it's fifteen dollars. Somehow every year goes up a dollar fifty. Yeah, fifteen bucks for a crappy two-hour movie, and you only see it once, and you can't play it again. Yeah, you know. I mean, that's why I'm actually happy that uh, when Bethesda just came out recently and said the new Wolfenstein game won't even have multiplayer. Yeah, single player. We're focusing on that. All I, we're putting it all into that and a cool story, you know, and cool level design, and that's what you want. That you, is something I love about Bethesda. Is they are. Um, they seem very much single player focused first and multiplayer focused second, if at all. Because when you think of Wolfenstein, you're not thinking of, oh, the awesome multiplayer experience. You want the cool story. Right. I mean, so again, it's all about resources. If you have a limited number of resources in time and you got to chunk away people from single player to multiplayer, both are going to suffer if you don't have the resources. Mm -hmm. You're going to do a half ass, you want a half ass multiplayer mode or an awesome single player mode versus just a, like a decent or good one so i'm hoping that the industry doesn't all the here some will hang on for dear life but it's it's interesting that you know there used to be really cool single single player star wars games we grew up with them and now it's like will we see one ever again probably that's not. at least a triple a one they used to all be single player like you didn't play fucking I mean, it was like x-wing and tie fighter and dark forces one and two and Jedi Knight, and then it was oh they tried like multiplayer with X Wing versus Tie Fighter, and that sucked. Yeah, it was awful. That sucked a lot. I played it for like a week and never played it again after I bought it. You know, it, it was sucked. It was sucked. It, it was, was sucked. It was a suck. It was a so suck. we knew back then twenty years ago it was a suck. Not having a single player. You know, going back to the arcade game. You know, yeah. that was cool. It was single player. Well, I guess you know. I didn't alternate. play the Empire Strike. They had the Empire. I Strike did not back play the I arcade at PRGE, and because you don't see that one too often. And I meant to conversion kit, and I didn't. Get, I, I played it before, but you you see that like ten percent yeah, of the time. Yeah, you never see it. Damn it! I need like a whole weekend of playing the arcade games. Okay, we're getting off topic. Okay. 